Shots ring out. Now, if that don't sound like a hit, then I don't know what to tell y'all. That was perfectly planned out and executed. They sat on that house, they watched Jada Younger and his father sit on that porch, and then they executed their plan when they got in position. But let's get back to what's being reported. So Jada Younger's father said he was armed too and shot back to defend himself and his son. Scott was shot twice in the arm, while Jada Younger was struck at least eight times. Scott remains in the hospital. The rapper's dad believes his son's murder was the result of jealousy, that he made it out of Boca Lusa, and he thinks whoever was behind the shooting was envious of Jada Young's success. Now let me just say this, I call BS, and the reason I call BS, because nobody is coming to ambush you because they don't like you, or because you made it out the hood. Nobody's coming to ambush you with a plan like that, to hit the back of the house and the front of the house, and to hit you up eight times, you either did something to somebody, you took something from somebody, or whatever you did, you pissed somebody off, where they wanted you gone, they wanted your lights out, they even tried to come to the hospital. So that story that the father is telling is a bunch of BS and I understand why he's saying it because he still got to live out there. He still got to be in those streets. So he don't want to be looked at as a snitch. So he going to handle it the street way. I understand that. So Scott continued to say his son didn't have beef with anyone and he doesn't think it was gang related and he doesn't think Jada Youngin knew the gunman. But my take on it is that the father either don't know what Jada Youngin was into or he just straight up lying to TMZ to either cover his tracks or cover Jada tracks. Cause Jada Youngin had beef with NBA Youngboy, Jada Youngin had beef with Julio Julio, and we all know that Jada Youngin is affiliated with a gang, like come on now. And they state that Jada Youngin didn't know the gunman, so how did his peoples know who the gunman was to go retaliate? Why did that white truck get shot up? Why did that house get shot up? I heard that that house is somebody's grandmother house. And I heard that that white truck was somebody's mother's truck. So, how did they know where to go to retaliate? It's not making no sense. But I'ma go ahead and recreate the crime scene so we can see how it really went down. So if y'all take a look at the screen, that is the house that Jada Youngin was shot and killed at. Now they say the gunman came from behind the house and it was a truck that pulled up in front of the house when three guys hopped out with guns. Now Jada Young and father said they were sitting in the front yard when everything went down. Not to mention Jada Young was on house arrest so he probably was out there getting some air, having some conversation with his father and another individual while sitting on that porch. And as y'all can see that porch is very small so when everything went down I'm pretty sure it was hard for him to get in the house with three people on that porch trying to get inside. But let's move on to how they ambush Jada Youngin. If y'all take another look at the screen, y'all can see there's a path on the side of the house. There's a little path. There's a fence there, but it's a little path with a lot of bushes, as y'all can see. And I'm pretty sure that anybody could jump over those little fences. But let's look on the other side of the house. It wouldn't make sense for them to come on that side of the house. The reason why is because the porch is in the front. And it would take them a longer time to get around those cars in order to hit them up. Feel what I'm saying? It'd be easier for them to go on the other side, the first side I showed y'all. Feel me? But we're gonna go ahead and go around the back to see how they really executed this plan. So as y'all can see, we moving up and we're gonna make this turn right here. This turn is gonna take us to the back of the house where the other gunman was dropped off to come on the side of the house. Cause I don't believe that it was a second car. I believe that they was dropped off back there. They seen Jada Younger and his father on the front porch and they creep behind the back, drop those dudes off, and then bring the truck back around the front, just in case they tried to run. But take a real good look at the screen right now. That is a pathway. That's a little alleyway that they walked up. That's a little alleyway that they walked up and came behind the house to get Jay the Youngin. That's not even a street over. That's an alleyway right there behind the houses, which is easy getaway. No cameras, a bunch of bushes, boom, you gone. But let's get out the alleyway and let's go to the back street. Just in case. Just in case they had another car. Even though I don't believe they had another car. So this is the back street behind the house that Jada Youngin got shot and killed at. And by the looks of it, it's still an easy access. You can see a lot of alleyways beside other houses to get to the house that he was at. Being that he was sitting outside, he was an easy target. Plus his car was in the front. His C8 Corvette was in the front. So they knew he was there. But if y'all take another look, this is the back side of the house. Anybody could creep through these bushes right there with nothing to stop them. Now I'ma keep it 100 with y'all. Jada Youngin set his own self up. If you know you got beef in the streets and you know people is looking for you, 
Why would you stay in a place that's unsecure? There's no big fence, there's no security, there's no nothing. You basically in the hood. But I want y'all to pay attention to the screen right now. This is behind the house as I can see is the blue house and it has a little fence right there. It's only a small fence that anybody could jump over behind Jada Youngin's house. That's crazy being a celebrity that you are, making the type of money that you making, and you staying over there even though that's not your house, that's your family house, but still, I would not be there. Now look, there's another look at the alleyway from the other side. Come on, man, come on. That's, that's a walkway, that's how they got them. Someone came up from behind the house, you know, and with a ski mask on and gunned them down in broad open daylight on a public road, a, a road that's a busy road. So people have gotten so bold of doing things today because they know or they feel like they won't be caught. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, stroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this crazy situation. Now I'm sorry to say, but I gotta keep it a hundred. Jay was into some things that his parents probably didn't even know about. His grandfather didn't know about. His pops didn't know about. His mother didn't know about. Cause the ain't nigga nobody. got on the 23 chain, holding it up on live, taking pictures. But we ain't gonna show none of that. That's, that's too policey, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever goes in Bologos, Bologos, uh, Bologos, whatever that shit called, Bogoloso. Boogaloosa, whatever the fuck that city is, man. I don't know the name of that shit. But whatever goes down in that city, man, stays in that city, bro. You feel me? But it's a lot of shit going on, man. J.D. Youngin was most definitely backdoed by one of his partners, man, that was hating and envy him, man. He was backdoed, bro. And I ain't gonna say no names, but people in Bo Bogaloso know what's going on, man. They know what's going on in the streets, man. That shit crazy, they backdoor this man, bro, literally. Four niggas, man. These people knew this man. Come on now, bro. These are one of those regular dudes on the streets, bro. He got backdoor set up, and somebody was cool with the other side and set this man up, man. I ain't, I'm not saying no names, bro. I'm going to let y'all find that out y'all self, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, man. Start checking